If he's alive, then you're alive. Amen. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's speak some life, Christopher. I just want to bring on the Lord this morning in a huge way. I walked into work yesterday, and the situation we were praying for, I looked, I looked, I looked, I looked. He intervened. It happened. Immediately. He always intervenes immediately. There's nothing you can't bring to the Father that he can take care of. Oh, and here it is, right here. This is what we need. Dear Lord, help us to give up Help us to give up our fears, our fears and, anxieties, and anxieties and give ourselves fully to you. And give ourselves fully to you. And the scripture comes out of Deuteronomy 33. The eternal God, the eternal God is thy refuge. Is thy refuge. And underneath, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Are the everlasting arms. Blessed are my eyes. Blessed are my eyes. Because they see. Because they see. Blessed are my ears. Blessed are my ears. Because they hear. Because they hear. Blessed is my heart. Blessed is my heart. Because it understands. Because it understands. That Jesus. That Jesus. Is my healer. Is my healer. Matthew 13. Amen. Amen. Glory. Thank you. There's this amazing thing that God does. Where he asks us to trade up. He asks us to trade our sorrows. He asks us to trade our pain. He asks us to trade our fears. And I love this scripture uh, in Isaiah 61. And that was actually Isaiah prophesying about who Jesus was and what he would do when he came. And, uh, and then Jesus himself proclaimed it. But I want you to listen to this. He says, To all who mourn, I will give you a crown of beauty for ashes. So we bring our ashes, our, our trash, everything that's already been messed up and burned up in our life, we bring that to him, and he gives us a beautiful crown instead. Does that sound like a fair trade? I don't think so, but I'll take it. It says that he will give us joyous blessings instead of mourning. So we give him our sadness, we give him our broken heart, and he gives us blessings. It says that he'll give us festive praise instead of despair. So in, in hopelessness and discouragement, despair, he's giving us praise. In another translation, it says the garments of praise. So you put your praise coat on. Right. It says in their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. They will be, they will re rebuild the ancient ruins and repairing cities destroyed long ago. They will revive them, though they have been deserted for many generations. This is calling forth and the Lord declaring that those people that have had their lives completely demolished and broken by the pains of life, by trauma, by these things, that they were actually the ones that are the rebuilders of the city. They're the ones that become oaks of righteousness. It's not talking about the church here. It's talking about the person who has been shattered and held captive in darkness and oppression. So I want you to understand, I know a lot of you are coming out of that. I know a lot of you, that was where you were. I want you to know that God says that you're becoming an oak of righteousness and you're the rebuilder of the city. Amen. You're the rebuilder of the king. You're the one that ushers the kingdom of God into our city. And there's a reason why you're in Roseburg right now. There's a reason why if you were born here, there's a reason why you were born here. If God planted here, you here, there's a reason why you're here. Because he has established you here to, to rebuild this city for, for God's glory, for his kingdom. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, and he does that, he does that through this great exchange, this awesome thing where he takes our garbage and he's like, yeah, give me all your trash, give me all your junk, and let me give you something beautiful, let me give you blessings, let me give you praise. So let's make a trade this morning, okay? All right. 
So we do we do a thing and just watch mom and dad over here. We do a thing how we we train up and we used to tell the boys all the time when we were around the ranch is like, okay, we'll give us all your contraband, give us all your garbage, give us all your stuff, and we'll trade up for something for something good. And a lot of times they did. They figured it out. And so the Lord's the Lord's wanting us to trade up stuff this morning. So let's do some of that. Amen. So put your chalk in one hand.
joy of the Lord. You see, you cannot receive when you're hanging on to the old stuff. If your hands are hanging on, if your hands are closed, it's like the monkey trap, you know. Yeah. It's the coconut with the little hole in the end, with the treasure, the blingy bling in there, and the monkey puts his hand in there and to grab it, and he will not let go. Guess what? That's all it is. It's a trap. The devil does monkey traps on us all the time. And we think, man, that's important to me, and I cannot let that go. And that's where we're stuck, and that's where he has his captive. So this trade is really just letting go of the junk and laying it down for the joy of the Lord. Now, there is no joy like the joy of the Lord. You want you want a high? Then you get connected to most high. Right? right? So just saying, this is a truly remarkable song. When you say yes to Jesus, you say yes to everything that your heart desires. Psalm 37, 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Raise your hand if you want the desires of your heart. I'm just saying, I do. And so I hold into that all the time. So what's your job? Delight in the Lord. What's his job? Give you the desires of your heart. So I tell the Lord all the time, and by the way, I'm delighting in you more today, so you're on the hook. I have some desires in my heart today. And he does it. <laughs> he does it. Amen. Amen. So here's what we're saying yes to. We're saying yes to surrender. We're saying we're saying yes. Okay, it's not easy, but it is simple. It's not. I mean, it, you know, it's not this. It's not deep theology. It's not necessarily easy, but it is simple. And it does. It takes your yes. It takes your agreement with God. It takes you saying, okay, I'm. I've done it my way enough. I tried to force it enough on my own. I tried to do it enough in my own power. So what you're saying yes to is you're saying yes to surrender. You're saying yes to Holy Spirit inside of you. And, and what He is prompting you. Because I know that, I mean, if you can agree that you know that there's a voice inside of you that, that speaks throughout your day that, hey, go get out your Bible and read your scripture. Hey, you need to spend some time just meditating in prayer with the Lord. Hey, you need to just calm down. We all have that voice inside because you have the Holy Spirit. It was a gift from God to you. So we're saying yes to the Holy Spirit. We're saying we're saying yes to the truth. Not, not my own truth, but God's truth. We're saying yes, God, I'm going to believe you more than I believe my emotions. I'm going to believe you more than I believe my feelings. I'm going to believe you more than I believe my experiences. We're saying yes to you, God. We're saying yes to letting love in. We're saying yes to forgiving and not holding on to bitterness. We're saying yes to freedom. We're saying yes to God that he, that we, that we're saying, okay, God, I'm going to trust you that, that you're not going to let me down. That you're going to really be enough. And that this thing that I've been holding on to, that you really are better than that. And that you really can satisfy me more than that. That you really can can meet that hole, that need in my life. That you can fill that hole in my life. That's what we're saying yes to when we say yes to God. Maureen. And joy. Yes, we're saying yes to joy. We're saying yes to no bad days. Okay? We're saying yes to no bad days. There's no bad days in Jesus. There's days that are harder than others, but they're not bad because he's, you get to choose victory. You get to choose joy. Amen. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Bob Marley. Jesus created that Satan. No, no. no bad days. Yeah. Um, you guys, you know. All right. So I want to pick something that that uh, Jeremy uh, grabbed a hold of and Christy was alluding to about about who do you hang out with? All right. Who do you hang out with? He's available all the time. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. He's available all the time. Sometimes, sometimes you think, oh man, if I just had this person in my life, or if I could just call them, or if I, you know, there's times, uh, my dad passed away in 2008, and there's times I just think, oh, oh, I need to call my dad about something, and, and See, God's available 
God's available and ready and there all the time. And it's his very name. That's what's so powerful. So I was just reading the story of Moses. So we moved through the Pharaoh. The sad part about it is it said that they forgot about the relationship that that uh, that had happened through Joseph. And they moved on and and, and God's people really started getting hammered. And, uh, and so God picked out somebody to help save them. He heard their cry. And he said, I am, I am soon going to take care of that. That's a good word, by the way. I am soon going to take care of that. When we're struggling, that's God's word. I'm going to take care of that right away. Right away. So he calls Moses and says, Moses, I want you to go back. By the way, his life. His life was sectioned into 40, 40, 40 years. So I, I started looking at it. Mike, we're only halfway through the second 40. <laughs> it's the back nine. We always, the, we always play better on the back nine. At least I do. So, <laughs> 40, 40, 40, right? Yep. He had 40 years in, in Pharaoh's household. Then he runs away, gets 40 years in the wilderness, or 40 years out, you know, in the desert, raising sheep. Yeah. And then 40 years that God called him to lead his people. So it was all preparation. Anyway, I didn't even get off on that. But here's the point. So Moses is going, yeah, right. I'm going to go to Pharaoh and tell him, God says, let my people go. Who am I supposed to tell him? Is sending. And it's really interesting to read what God said, right? After he asked that. He literally said, I will be with you. <laughs> Who am I supposed to tell that's sending me? And God says, I will be with you. You know why he said that? That's his name. me 
Lord has to draw me near, desperate for you, desperate for you.
Holy Spirit, just lead us right now to the Father's heart as we open our ears to hear what He is saying over us. Abba, we are crying out to hear Your voice this morning. We know that You're speaking. We know that You're here. We're saying yes to You, God. We're saying yes to You, Lord. It's been a, a year, bud. It's been a year, <laughs> and, uh, and so I just, uh, I just, we're so proud of them, and we want to set them apart. They've already decided we're we're consecrating ourselves for the Lord. We're going to do what the Lord wants us to do, and um, and so we want to agree with that. We want to set them apart and anoint them. And, and and just commission them for all that God is doing. They're listening to the voice of the Lord and, and they're having regular encounters with God. As they listen to God and they obey, 
They're encountering him and in the lives of people, and it's bringing healing to our city. It's bringing healing into the lives of people, and it's ushering his kingdom in. And so we just want, uh, we want to anoint you. We want to, to uh, put protection over you and empower you to do what God is calling you to do. So I wanted to share something. When we set apart or, or anoint us, someone we we love to do it with married couples that this isn't just about the guy right that we that's right that we see we see God uniting uh, under his picture right Uh, with the Father Son and Holy Spirit a, a triple cord to not be broken. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, so we get God and a husband and wife in that triple cord. Look out, Satan. Yes. Amen? Are you here? Are you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and the anointing. So I want to, uh, Christy and Holly to pray over Haley because this anointing is for her too and, and uh, Jeremy and I are going to pray over Zach. But I also, and I don't, I, well, I know you guys are up for this, so, okay. <laughs> so the Holy Spirit spoke to me to pour this oil, all right, over them. There's a statement that talks about the oil running down Aaron's beard, all right? So that's why you have the towels. <laughs> <laughs> because... We want the full meal deal. Yeah. Not just a touch. Right? An outpouring. An outpouring. Amen. So if you guys will join us in this, stretching your arms out. Actually, come around. Anybody that wants to. All right? We'll just we'll just say that too. Stretch. Come around. Uh, because God has set apart these two. Uh, and boy, we see that so clearly. And so what a great opportunity for us to, to join him at work in this. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. And Lord, you have been connecting the, the dots over Zach's life. You've been showing be him what all that meant. You've been revealing your heart to him. You and Lord, Lord you have right ushered him into this great adventure. Lord, he has heard the call to be your man. He has heard the call to that surrender is on her and that anointing is on her that be magnified and being obedient in to Jesus' that name. And we set her apart. Yeah. And Lord, you, he's her, allowing you to um, come in and heal the wounds and, 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 and you are doing uh, an amazing God work only. in his heart right God, now, she Lord. Learned so how to love we're just and giving her husband this man um, to you as he is giving ways, himself to you that they would be to do with him as you see fit. That they would change the DNA of their family of what this looks like. Isaiah said, here I am, send me, Lord. You were looking for someone and I see we Zach saying, here her, I am, Lord, send me, uh, I'll do it, call I'll take the risk, ways in one. We I'll call lead, her I'll step out, ways in one. I'll, we call I'll her be brave, I'll, I'll, and we call her I'll be and so not afraid of what take people this time think, to commission her mm-hmm. and so and say that she I, is I just speak, Lord, in that, name, that and you that are is, fulfilling um, his greatest heart's desire. This guy keep in the word You thought it was tennis, but Lord, it's really you. you also get the signet ring of the Father. And so I just speak right now, empowerment, I release into Zach. So supernatural Spirit, wisdom, wisdom beyond human reasoning in the name in of Jesus, Jesus name, to full calling, wisdom to, animal, we can ask uh, to full calling have God has uh, for you. strategies, you you get to uh, wisdom to solve to problems, wisdom, wisdom to years. step into wisdom a situation and release experience. truth, wisdom, and wisdom to know to the right or to the left, wisdom to know whether to stop or to go, wisdom to speak beyond what he knows in his brain, he's a smart guy. 
Jesus. Uh, but, but wisdom Amen. that supersedes Amen. man's wisdom. Amen. And so we just, uh, we release that. We release, Lord, um, persistence uh, that he will not uh, give up on any level. So we anoint you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We agree. We agree. We agree. Set apart for his purposes, Blessing for his kingdom, and favor his will, and honor. Blessing your and favor and honor. A season of fruitfulness beyond your imagination or your wildest dreams. Amen. We pray a covering of protection and we anoint the covenant of their relationship and their marriage. Thank you, Lord, that you have made them one and together they're an unstoppable force. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Unstoppable force. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory. Glory. We, we used to sing a song, We Will Abandon It All for the Sake of the Call. And uh, and these guys uh, are leading by example. Yeah. And your lives are touching so many. I had them uh, come and share uh, the other day on Wednesday with uh, a lady uh, from the federal government, Justice Reinvestment. And uh, <laughs> I, I was so blessed to hear them speak out their test, not just their testimony, but speak into her life too. And uh, and what a team, what a team. Amen. So outpouring, that's the word that God just spoke. Outpouring. So what's being poured out on you? Oh, and then the other one with Jeremy was praying. So. You you not only have a double portion, but you have spiritual parents yeah. and grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's at least at least quadruple, right? Yeah. <laughs> quadruple <laughs> blessing. I'm thinking siblings. Yeah. <laughs> The Lord make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you, and give you peace today. As we go out, let's have a good one, guys.